Yo, 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 what up, Shamanda? What up, y'all, if you're new? Welcome. If you're turning, what up, though? Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and check out that freestyle boom in the description below. But here we go, another react video. Five off of superhero castings that almost happened. Uh, I usually agree to disagree with these because my thing is if they would have got cast, then hopefully they would have took the part serious. So you can see the thumb. Now I get Jack back to the Green Lantern. But I'm not gonna say I can't agree or disagree. I think um, hopefully he would have took the role serious. But then again, I've heard I've heard most people didn't like Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I personally liked it, but most people didn't. So agree to disagree. What I was getting. Through. All superhero movies are under intense scrutiny from their very beginnings. Millions of passionate fans are eager to dissect everything from the storyline to the costumes. Casting is the most vital part. The wrong actor can break a movie before it even hits theaters. Fans fall in love with actors who do their heroes justice. But what would have happened if someone else had put on the costume? Here are Screen Rant's five awful superhero castings that almost happened. Superman. I heard about that. Nicolas Cage may have an Oscar to his name, but that doesn't mean he was right to play Superman. Well, he almost did in Tim Burton's short-lived reboot, Superman Lives. It's safe to say Nicolas Cage is better known for bringing hyper and hysterical characters to life. Those traits would have been a strange fit for the calm and collected Kal-El. Clark Kent is supposed to be an unassuming everyman who can blend in with the crowd, not a personality Cage is known for. The actor didn't even look the part in his costume test. He came off as more of a bad Halloween getup than the Man of Steel. We partly regret not getting to see a Nick Cage Superman in action, but we all know how it would have turned out. Iron Man. For years, it was Hollywood megastar Tom Cruise who was supposed to star in an Iron Man film. Thankfully, the stars aligned and Cruise dropped out, giving way to Robert Downey Jr. It would have been nearly impossible for audiences to separate Tom Cruise from his superhero character. And picturing Cruise spitting Stark's banter still seems wrong. Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. The same challenges turned out to be a good thing for Downey. He conquered some demons of his own before landing in the Marvel spotlight, which is something that he had in common with Tony Stark. No offense to the actor, but it's for the best that Tom Cruise lost interest. Spider-Man. Leonardo DiCaprio is one of this generation's really? most respected actors, but there are he's some parts that even he's not cut out for. Sony originally wanted the Titanic star for the lead role in Spider-Man before Sam Raimi cast Tobey Maguire. True, almost anyone can be convincing under the Spider-Man mask, but it would have been really hard to buy DiCaprio as Peter Parker, the geeky science nerd who gets bullied at school and tongue-tied when talking to Mary Jane Watson. Leo is the kind of celebrity most men aspire to be, but not necessarily someone they see themselves in. That's totally the wrong dynamic for Spider-Man. His yeah. everyman struggles are vital character traits. Batman. <laughs> Everyone Real loves Bill Murray, that's a given. But would they feel the same if he put on the cape and cowl? Warner Brothers had once planned for a Murray-led Batman film in the vein of the campy Adam West TV show. The plug was pulled when they decided to pursue Tim Burton's movie, and fans could once again breathe a sigh of relief. Even if the project was lighthearted and fun, it's hard to see Murray striking fear into the hearts of criminals or playing a clean-cut billionaire playboy. Murray's deadpan wit and dramatic chops would have been worth seeing. Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. But Michael Keaton's Batman helped build the mold that all other superheroes would use afterwards. Mm -hmm. Green Lantern. <laughs> Fans didn't really care for the Green Lantern film they eventually got, but at least it wasn't this. For years, Jack Black was rumored to star in a film as Judd Plato, a slacker schmuck who selected to become a member of the Green Lantern Corps. Black's casting completely misses the point of the character, who's typically defined by his strong will and determination. Whether it's Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart, or anyone in between, a potential lantern at least gives the impression that they're hero material. Jack Black most definitely does not. Admittedly, Black may have been right for Judd Plato, but Judd isn't right for the lanterns. At least Ryan Reynolds had the right physique. Those are our picks for superhero castings that luckily never made it to screen. Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Alright, like I said, 
I agree to disagree because one thing you see is an actor, which I get it, but um, it's just like right now, people think Ben Affleck go blow it as Batman, and if you watch that that movie it was about a casino like um, Kingpin or whatever, you could see his transition into that dark role, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Compared to when he played Daredevil or when he was in Good Will Hunting, how he was kind of soft and, you know what I'm saying? So I think, I don't say any actor could play any role, but um, they're actors. And I think what we do is we already give them a certain stigma and we put them in this box sort of speak and then say oh it's impossible for him don't get me wrong now, i think jack black would have been kind of weird for green lantern because green lantern is you know all common heroes are usually fit if anything but um i don't see nothing wrong with um tom tom cruise being the iron man or, you know i mean whoever else was y'all don't know you know what i'm saying y'all get what i'm saying i don't know how it would have turned out if you gave it to me i would have had to accept it just like if right now i tell you morgan freeman praying god you might go whoa whoa hold up brother god but then i show you bruce almighty you're like oh he did a good job you know what i'm saying so you, you know when, when you hear it on paper it might sound yeah nah this, this ain't gonna work bro mm -mm. and then you see it and you're like oh they took that serious okay the other roles you're like ah oh, he went too far but anyways we're dust from the go we're gonna um Sounds like even though I agreed, I agreed to disagree. I mean, I disagreed. They still had their points, and I had mine. So, but that's when we go. Go and check out that freestyle in the description below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Two fingers to the side. Does that.